Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today we're going to discuss covalent compounds. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to name and write formulas. Today's essential question, what are the rules for naming and writing formulas for covalent compounds? And as you'll see, they're different than how we name ionic compounds. Actually, it's easier. All right, so let's do this. All right, so naming covalent compounds. First thing, remember, remember. A covalent bond is between a nonmetal and a nonmetal. Okay? And they share electrons, they don't steal. Okay. So when you're naming, just like when you're naming ionic compounds, the first element named is usually the first one written. In the formula, it's the least electronegative element. It's the one further to the left or further down. Okay? And if the molecule contains more than one of the same element, use a prefix. And you're going to find the prefixes um, on the back of your periodic table with the polyatomic ion chart. Um, you'll see something titled Prefixes for Naming Covalent Covalent Compounds. And so you're going to use a prefix anytime there's more than one of the same element, unless there's only one of the same element in the first name, you do not use mono, okay? Do not use mono for the first name, okay? The element with the higher electronegativity value is usually written last and has the ending "-ide", just like anions, okay? You're going to drop the ending and add "-ide". And you're also going to add a prefix to the beginning of the element name, even if there's only one. Okay, so with the second name, if there's only one, you'll use the prefix mono. Okay. If the name of the element begins with a vowel, drop the vowel at the end of the prefix. Okay, that sounds really complicated, but truthfully, if you say the name out loud, it'll sound funny if you don't, if you don't drop the prefix. I mean, if you don't drop the vowel, okay? All right, let's try a couple practice problems. We have CO2, okay? So we name the first one first, and that is carbon. And because it's the first name, there's only one of them, but because it's the first name, we don't use mono. And then O is oxygen, right? But just like with the ionic compounds, we drop the ending and we add IDE, so it'll be oxide. Okay. Now, unlike with ionic compounds, the number matters, okay? We have two oxygens, so look at the, the prefix handout for naming covalent compounds, and two is di. So this is carbon dioxide. All right, let's try one more. Let's try H2O, which I know is water, but the scientific name is not water. Okay, so H is hydrogen, but there are two hydrogens, so we need to use a prefix, dihydrogen, okay? O, it's oxygen, but it's the last letter, so we're going to change the ending to I, so it would be oxide. And there's only one, um, but this time, because it's the second name, we do use the prefix mono, but because we have um, a vowel at the end, the beginning of oxide, we're going to call it monoxide, not monooxide. So H2O is really dihydrogen monoxide. All right, let's try one more, and two, F4. Okay, this time, why don't you hit pause, try to do this by yourself, and then hit play and see how you do. All right, so... Nitrogen is the first one, and it's going to be nitrogen, but there are two of them, so we'll call this dinitrogen, okay? And then fluorine, the F is fluorine, but it's the last name, so we're going to drop the ending and add I-D-E, so it'll be fluoride, and there are four fluorides, so we'll call that tetra. Okay, so N2F4 is dinitrogen tetrafluoride. All right, not too bad, yeah? All right, writing formulas for covalent compounds. 
You're going to love this. This is easy, easy, easy. Way easier than ionic compounds. So when writing a formula for a covalent compound, always write the symbol for the least electronegative atom first. Really, it's the one that's written first. All you have to do here is write the symbol for the name, and then use the prefix for the substrate. You use whatever prefix is there. Pretty much no thinking involved. It's really easy. So you do not have to check charges and neutralize the compound. Because Co covalent compounds are made up of atoms, not ions. There aren't any charges. No stealing of electrons. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, so let's try this. If I gave you nitrogen, trifluoride, nitrogen is N, right? There's, only, there's no symbols. I mean, there's no um, prefix, so there's only one of them. And then we have fluoride. But it says it's trifluoride, which means there are three fluorides. So nitrogen trifluoride is NF3. Let's try another one. How about dihydrogen? Dioxide. Okay, so we have a di and a di. So that means we have hydrogen, but there are two of them. We have oxygen, but there are two of them. That's it. That's all there is to formula writing. Told you you'd like it. All right, that's it for today.